Hello grade 9 math learners, this is Miss Bunchong once again and I am here to discuss to you transforming rational exponents into radicals and vice versa. Let A be any real number and let M be any positive integers greater than 1. Then A raised to 1 over N is equal to N square root of A or A raised to M over N is equal to N square root of A raised to M. Expressions with a rational exponent such as A raised to M over N, A there is the base, M is the numerator of a rational expression, and M is the denominator of a rational expression. If we're going to change this one into a radical expression, it will become n square root of a raised to m. n is the index, a is the base of the radicand, and m is the exponent of the radicand. Now, now on the succeeding video, you're going to learn how to transform expressions with rational exponents into radicals. Here you go, watch this video. Now class, we're going to have different examples of transforming expression with rational exponents to radicals. So let's start with example number one. Transform the given expressions with rational exponents into radicals. So for example, x raised to 1 over 7. So what were you going to do class? Okay, the denominator will become the index of the radical. So, it is found outside the radical sign and put the base as the base of the radicand. Then, the numerator will become the exponent of the base. And since the exponent is 1 here, you don't need to write 1 anymore. So, it will become 7 root of x and box your final answer. Example number two, this one. Transform the given expression into a rational exponent into radicals since um, they, as you have noticed, they have the same denominator of their exponents. So, meaning that would become the seventh root that will become the index of the radical and x to the fourth x squared and that would be the final answer very easy next example this one so 8x raised to 5 over 3 so always remember the denominator of the rational exponent will be the index of the radical and what's inside what's the base will be the base of the radicand will become the radicand and raise to 5 because 5 is the numerator of the exponential expression. Next, another one. Let's do the uh, another way around. Transforming or transform the given radicals into expressions with rational exponents. For example, number 1. Okay, so what will happen? First, that we're going to do copy the radicand which is x then look at if there's an exponent of it and since you cannot see any exponent the exponent there is automatically one and over the index of the radical and the index is five so the denominator of the rational exponent is five and that would be the final answer next example this one so first that you're going to do you copy it will become x y cube and put that class inside the parenthesis then raise to the power of one fourth okay and that would be the final answer okay or you can do the other thing 
x raised to the power of one fourth and y raised to the power of three over four. You can also do that. And I want you to box your final answer. Next example, still transform the given radicals into rational exponents. This one, since as you can see, there's already um, there's already cube outside the parentheses, so it will become like this: two x cube y to the seventh, and close open parentheses. Then this will become the numerator of the rational exponent. And the index will become the denominator of the rational exponent. And that would be, yes, the final answer. As easy as that. And that would be all class in transforming rational exponents into radicals or vice versa. Now you can proceed to the next part of this learning packet. Thank you and God bless.